Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Arcade Paradise VR. Now I have to mention this is a sponsored video. I have been compensated for my time. Now this is my second time playing the game. I played the game yesterday. I wanted to do like a first impressions, but all my recording was corrupt. So I'm having to start all over again today. I reinstalled the game last night hoping I could show you the game from the beginning. I've got a feeling it's going to put me right back into uh, where I left off yesterday before the uh, my recording crashed. So in front of me is this amazing looking pink arcade machine and I'm loving the carpet as well. Press A to start. I'm going to have to continue where I left off yesterday before the uh, my recording crashed. So these are 2D cutscenes and as you can see there's a new arcade machine that's just been dropped off in the street. I'm going to try and go over my thoughts, my impressions from yesterday that I can remember. So I'm in a street, I'm going to try and explain a bit about the game. I was expecting this to be like an arcade simulator, um, it doesn't work that way. Basically my family own the laundrette over there. My father's in charge and I'm left to run the place. Now during the day I've got lots of chores to do, I've got washing to do, I need to uh, remove all the trash. In my spare time, if I can get any spare time, I'm starting to buy these arcade machines to play in the back room. So on my map here look, you can see a map of the, uh, the laundrette. This was an arcade machine I brought yesterday before my video crashed. You have to collect money from the laundry, you have to do a nine to five job. And with that money, I can buy arcade machines with a computer. So at the moment, I'm building like a little arcade in the back of the laundrette. I told my father I want to expand the laundrette into like an arcade instead. He's not happy with me. But this is an arcade machine I brought last night, so I'm going to put it into my little arcade here. So that is now in place. And as you can see, there's chat messages on the computer at work, which I need to sort out. I did mention in my first impressions yesterday, I love the uh, location. This looks really, really nice. It feels so authentic and realistic, but there's nobody around. There's no traffic. There's nobody walking around. I'd like to see a few people walking around just to make the whole area feel alive. Okay, let's go to work. So we do need to tidy the place up. But first I need to check the uh, computer. So this is my little arcade room look. And these arcade games are fantastic. I might have to play the arcade machine in the night just to show you how good they were. So when I first start the game, you get the, you get this arcade machine, you get this one here and you get the racing one there. I actually worked three day shifts yesterday and I earned myself these two machines. This is the first arcade machine I brought, Smokem. And this is the one that landed in the street this morning that you saw unwrapping. So we need to head into the back room I need to check my messages. So this watch on my right hand is really, really handy. It gives you the time of day. Now, if you work after 11 o'clock at night, you earn no money. So you have to make sure you stop working before you reach 11 o'clock at night. This watch is going to give me handy hints and tips. It's also going to tell me how much money I'm earning. So we need to press A to use the computer. So my dad's um, messaging me. Oh, this is where I told him about my idea to turn it into a, like an arcade. I'm not going to read all the text, there's quite a lot of text. Also, that lava lamp looks really cool, but it's not animated. I'm telling my father here the retention of arcade machines.
So my father said, no more silly ideas. He's not interested. So my father's not interested, so we need to go and do some chores, really. So we need to tidy up litter. You grab the litter, you throw it. It goes into a bag. Once the bag's full, you then need to enter the bag. So we're just going to uh, get rid of all this crap. I should really put the washing in first before I do the uh, empty the bins. So we're going to do some washing. Okay, we've got some whites here. We need to make sure we have the right temperature for the uh, for the washing. So these are whites. So look, that can go in there. Uh, that's on white. That's going on to wash. Same again. So I'm going to get the uh, washing started. That's on whites. We've got some colours here as well. I did notice yesterday, if you grab two baskets at once, there is a bit of a delay. So I don't think you're supposed to pick up two baskets at once. So these are the colours, look. Mixed colours. That's going on to mix. That goes in the wash. Click the button. Now I did mention in my video yesterday that this might become a bit monotonous having to do all the uh, the washing. I would love to be able to earn enough money in the game to hire somebody to do all the washing so that I could concentrate on building up the, uh, the arcade business. Okay, let me get some uh, rubbish out of the way. Is the bag full? Bag's full. So now we need to go outside and empty the bag. And as you can see, these locations look really, really good on the Quest 3, but there's nobody around. I've got a message. You have wet clothes waiting in the machine. Okay, we need to get this in the bin. Hup. That's earned me some money. The washing's done. And we need to dry this now. So we need to take it to the dryer. Now the dryer's colour coded as well, so depending on the colour of the basket, that's the setting we want for the uh, for drying look. So we have like delicate washing, cupboard dry and auto dry. So these are my daily chores so far. Uh, washing, drying, tidying up. Let's put that in there. Let me try uh, do a double. Okay, pink and green. That one's pink. I have to say though that the arcade machines, I'm going to show you the arcade machines, are fantastic. Um, the green, hold on. Did I click dry? I did not click dry. Okay. So there's like a timer on the machines. Uh, these other ones should be ready as well. I'll just do these ones and then we'll show you the uh, arcade machines. I just want to go and play the games. Once these are dried we need to put them away. So now I need to go and empty the uh, machines. Grab all the uh, cash from the machines, look. The £16 in there. Hopefully there should be some money in here as well. £15 in there. £60. I like this one. £13. £24 and this one here. So I've got the money from the machines. We now need to bank the cash. So we go to the safe. We've got £394 to deposit in the safe. 
I need to do the safe code. Three that way. And then 10. Go on, click. There we go. So with this money, I can go to the computer and I can buy new arcade machines. I've got a new message. I think this is from my sister. Hey Weasel Face, did you pitch your idea to Dad? Yes, he was not having none of it. Prove him wrong. That's the point, I don't have any more space for new arcade machines. We can knock down a wall. So this game does have like a story going on as well. This is new. Okay, it's going to cost me a thousand pound to um, convert the storeroom into a bigger room. Interesting. I don't have a thousand pounds look. I've only got 567 pounds. I don't have enough money yet. If I go to the arcade mania, this is where I've been buying the arcade machines lot. These are smoke sold out. So they're all sold out now, so I can't buy anything new anyway. Uh, what's the time? It's uh, nearly 7 o'clock at night. Let me show you the OK machines because they are fantastic. They really spent a lot of time on these OK machines. So we're going to play this one. Okay, we need three stars, don't we? So we need to collect stars to um, repair the bridges. And this is like a match three type puzzle game. There's a five there. Okay, we can't match anymore. We lost. So if I won the game, I would have got a star. It would allow me to repair the bridge to move to the next islands. Uh, the second game I played was this one, the racing game. This is like Pac-Man, but you're like a bank robber. So we need to uh, use the map, grab all the money and avoid all the police cars. That's the tank. Very similar to Pac-Man. Being chased. Okay, let's grab the coin and then roll over them. Yeah, you run. And this looks like a real arcade machine as well. You've even got the uh, reflections on the in the glass look. Okay, run. You can shoot the uh, police officers as well. We got busted. The third game I played was this one. This is one of those sliding games where you've got the little the little puck. You have to try and get into the goal in the other end. 
Well, this is a digital version. I actually won on this yesterday. I got five goals. We have clean clothing waiting in the dryer. And it's um, nearly midnight. So I'm not going to get paid for doing any more work. I'm supposed to go home now and get the bus. So let's go home, let's grab the bus. We'll come back in the morning and I'll show you the two new arcade machines. I might get penalised for leaving the washing in the, uh, the dryer. So I might need to put this away. I might need to put these away before I go because I'll lose money otherwise. That goes on there. Okay, let's do these two. Two at a time. So we've got a ranking and we've earned some money as well, hopefully. It's one o'clock in the morning. I've made 200 pounds. There we go. Let me get the bus. So there is like a day night cycle as well. It's getting a bit dark. Again, we get another 2D cutscene. This is me going home. Now, if I had enough money to buy an arcade machine, the next morning the arcade would be in the street. They deliver it the next day. So this is day four. And I need to earn a thousand pounds to uh, make the extension for the uh, by bus. Eight o'clock in the morning. A new day, more rubbish. There is a hidden cartridge somewhere as well. There's like a game cartridge. Here, look, I can't figure out what this is for. This reminds me of the ET cartridge, the Atari look. Okay, let me show you those two. Uh, some dirty sods put bubblegum on the uh, token machine. So these machines, I do believe, are generating money overnight, look. Yeah, this is a really cool one. Smash them. This is like a light gun game. And it feels quite authentic. That's a timer. You have to point down to reload. So I mean about the uh, developer really going to town with the uh, with the arcades. They put a lot of work into these arcades. They feel quite authentic. I do like this one though with the gun. I have heard this game's got like mixed reality mode as well. So there is a potential for having these arcade machines in your actual house. I've got a feeling though I need to unlock that part of the game because I can't see anywhere how to get the game working in mixed reality but there is a trailer showing this working in mixed reality okay and uh, this is the new machine stack overflow on this game we need to grab the packages look put them in the uh, in the right order so blue here put the browns on there grab the blue ones that's one that's two that's level one Oh, 
So we need to do the same again. Um, and there we go, level two. Um, there's a note here, sorry keys went for ice cream and haven't come back yet. Let's get some washing done, I need to earn some money. See, I was expecting a pure arcade simulator, but it's not. It's like a launderette simulator with the uh, guy wanting to build an arcade, which is quite a unique concept. I think there's about 50 arcade machines to unlock. Let me grab the chewing gum off the uh, token machine. That's disgusting. What? Oh, there's also these um, collectible cards, look. And I do remember I used to get these in uh, bubblegum a long, long time ago in the UK when I was a, a little boy. Used to buy the uh, packets of bubblegum, used to get these like packets of collector's cards. But every time I drop them, they disappear and reappear somewhere in the game. I don't know how they work yet. Is that bubblegum? So we need to put out the uh, rubbish. Whoop! Bingo! Okay, let me empty the uh, machines. We need a thousand pounds. Yeah, this one's really popular, look. It's making £60 a night. This is the new one. Okay, we need to bank the money. I mean, if we get burgled, this is like, what's the point of having a safe when you have the combination on it? Okay, how much have we made? I've got an important message coming through. Okay, we've made a thousand pound. I can afford the extension. Dad's on a yacht. Typical. Okay, so we can now, we can now order the room conversion, which I think is going to be tomorrow. Six o'clock. Let me uh, do some tidying up. And you can see the sun going down. That counts. Rank C. Okay, I should be able to go home now. Hopefully, in the morning, we're going to have a we're going to have a new area. Ashley, hello. I approved your proposal to convert the utility room and extend the King Laundry trading area. More space, more washing machines. It's a little obvious, but fine. Hopefully by now, <coughs> you appreciate Laundry's vital role in the community and the modest but steady income it provides. <coughs> Reinvestment is That's a cool. path to success. Maybe this is your first step to owning your own business empire. <coughs> Perhaps someday you'll rise to my rank, Gerald. King of the Riviera. <laughs> Sorry, something caught in my throat. That's really cool how they've added the games I brought onto the uh, chalkboard outside. So let me check out the new room. Oh wow. Okay, this, now we're talking. So I've got room now to add more arcade machines, so... Okay, I'm going to do some more chores, I'm going to earn some money, I'm going to buy a new arcade machine just to show you what happens. Dirty whiteys. 
Wow, these are expensive. 700 pounds for the UFO assault. The cheapest one, 700 pounds. I better get back to work. Okay, so you do need to clean the toilets as well every day. So you grab the brush. And then you have to clean all the shit from the toilet. How's that? 100% cleaned. We've got some money for doing that as well. Okay, I've earned enough money guys to buy a new arcade machine. Let's go for the one at £700. UFO Assault. Buy now. Confirm. Okay. So we're going to go home and the machine is going to be delivered in the morning. We're going to play the machine and then I'll end the video. So there's my new machine. So now we've got the map, we have the new layout. I can place the machine anywhere here. I'm going to place it here, look. Let me check out the messages and then we'll try out the new arcade machine. And Dad's watching me on the cameras. We've got like a to-do list now. It looks like we can buy other items. Is that a new watch? A gold watch? Can I buy it? I don't have enough money. Okay, let me check out the new arcade machine. Who's been eating pizza? Somebody's had a late night session in here. UFO assault. I used to play a game like this. So we have to try and destroy the building foot. And the UFO is getting lower and lower. Totally missed. Oh, we crashed. Game over. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell and I'll see you in the next one. I need to go and clean the toilets. See you later. Bye. Toilet roll holder.